Well, man. Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Ace Attorney journey with more of this here. A case three, though they call it episode three. Why don't why they don't just call it a, a case, considering that's what it is. It's a case. It's the third case that we are doing. For some reason that trips me up. My brain is just like, ah, it's the case, but the game's like it's the episode. Hibbity bit. But we, thanks to our spirit guide Mia, decided to come out and tell us, like, hey, why don't you go and interrogate the child more at the studio? Of which we're gonna go do that. Let's see if I can remember Old Bag's voice. Also, she looks like such an alien when her eyes just go pure white. <sighs> yeah, you are indeed out of breath, old woman. What's wrong? <sighs> Whippersnapper! She's been chasing that boy this whole time. Uh, when, when I c catch him, I... Sound like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I, I got a hostage now, whippersnapper! What? <laughs> you have a hostage? <laughs> Go continue, I believe that is a crime, but at the same time you are a security guard, so who knows what powers you wield. A hostage? Uh, the fanboy. Um, what happened to the boy? Ah, uh, if you see him again, I'll uh, lay him flat. <sighs> My, what a violent old lady. Ah, Mio decided to stick around. I didn't expect that for some reason. Director et al. Actually, I met him with met the director just now. Eh? Uh, uh, my heart. I don't feel so good. Is she okay? B before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. Uh, this is the first time she's said it to me, at least. The hostage. What's this about a hostage? Uh, when that boy was running away. He dropped this and, and ran. <sighs> He'll come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her if all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. Miss Oldbag, might I? No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. She caught her breath quick. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? Trade, mm -hmm. I wonder. Ah, trade. <laughs> the trailer key, probably. But again, I wonder when we're going to use the sleeping pill bottle. I almost forgot that was a thing. But she said that she wanted to go to Studio One where Hammer died. It doesn't look like there's anything new. Except the continuing chirping of the birds. Let's go inside Studio One and see if there's anything. It doesn't seem like there's anything. Ah, oh, come on. It, it, it's a box. Why can't I select the box? Classic director's chair. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have an extra large one for Mr. Manila. Harsh. Harsh, my man. I kind of find it funny that each time that it, like, reloads areas, it reloads all of them and doesn't, like, keep the ones. Like, ah, yes, it is already done. But I guess we can probably trade the the key back. Hey, uh, want this back? Miss Oldbag, I'm borrowing this, just so you know. Okay, just be sure to give it back. She's not as demanding when she's exhausted. Huh, I figured that she'd be like, oh no, <laughs> if if that if it gets out that I let somebody get an important key, that would be bad. I wonder what I will need to trade with her. Hello, boy. Hey! And he's gone. Oh, no, he just moves. Hey, you! Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Well, if he ran... Just gonna quickly glance around. Make sure that there's nothing new. Probably isn't, but hey. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! 
And then he runs. Damn it! He's getting away! Come back. There. He's back. How did she... Hey there. Would you mind helping us out, please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Ha! <laughs> Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. He doesn't seem like he's friendly to me. Hmm. Well, well, let's just drain all the options. The Steel Samurai's so cool, I think he's, um, the bomb. Ha! <laughs> what would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude! Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that at he's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that, I'm only a kid! So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing! Hmm, looks like a little persuasion's necessary. Maybe a bribe? Hmm, wait. Uh, is the wig different? You don't know Samurai Boogie Woogie? You're even lamer than I thought. I didn't know that that part changed before he said. Why does everybody but me know about this show? But that is amusing. Well, I'll need to find something to bribe. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Oh, I need to give her the key card so that she can get into the studio. The reason that I... Well, that's what I assume this to be. Mainly because I figured since she's a security guard that she would have access to most places. You know, like a recording area. But uh, Especially because she has the key, or at least she did have the key, to the trailer. But who knows? Let's give this a shot. Hey, that... Uh, that's a card. Studio One. Right, a uh, card key to Studio One. I... I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit... He died. I was his... his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Old Bag? Studio One isn't my turf. You'll let me borrow... borrow it, then. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. But at the same time, there's nothing there. There's nothing there in Studio One for me to do. He just died there. There doesn't seem to be anything important. Everything important is elsewhere. Have the key card, lady. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Oldbag. Card key lent to Miss Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even, deal. What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figured it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. That is such a weird way to pr phrase it. Not like, I have leverage, or I have uh, materials that he'll want. No, it's like treating it like a person. A trading card. That seems like three. Apparently, these are really popular with the kids these days. Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. I do wonder, <laughs> I guess it is kind of sweet that she was a fan of Hammer and really does care about him. Hey kid, I have your trading card. You want it back, kid? Cody, this look familiar? Hey, my you are! Ultra rare? <laughs> you are, huh? You are, you know ultra rare? That card's really hard to get! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this if you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect eschewing the very basis of our consumer society, <laughs> namely the principle of fair trade. <laughs> that is a very, very specific way of phrasing it, kid. I like it. <laughs> Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. What do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble. 
If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! And for a grown up, you sure are dumb. That's like his catchphrase. Premium rare? Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? So I need to find an even rarer card to get info out of this kid. Ay, 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 ay. No, I don't need to search. I need to move. I wonder where Mr. Manila went. <laughs> I could see him being into his own merch like that. Let's see. I... I doubt it will be worthwhile to go in, but let's go in anyway. Ah! New stuff! Oh, Penny! Oh, hi! Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? You are the first person to notice! M maybe Penny does have some kind of psychic energy to tell when things are going on. <laughs> maybe. Um, nope, she's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. The fanboy. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fists back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Mr. Hammer. Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes. It's really a terrible loss for the studio. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, wait. Now you have, have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Uh, would you like an ultra rare? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set one of each card. Huh. Wait, 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 wait! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, I need that card. <laughs> Please, I bet you they actually drew a special frame for this! <laughs> <laughs> Please trade with me! Trade with you? Yes, trade cards! Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card! Trade me a. Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare! Please! Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everybody getting so excited about? Sure, I'll trade. Okay. Really? Thanks! This is, then this is for you! An ultra rare premium steel samurai collectible card! Very valuable. Yahoo! <laughs> And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah it does. That is hilarious. Oh, hey, this one actually is still set up correctly. The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This far into October, the diminishing daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. Huh, that's odd. I guess these changed. Another old movie poster. The hell do <laughs> chopping off heads? It's a samurai musical set in ancient Japan. A samurai musical? Is that even a genre? Well, I'm impressed. You know your stuff, Mia. Oh, my is the real fan. I just picked up a little. Summer, uh, samurai Summer starring Jack Hammer. This poster looks like it's been hanging here for a few years. This is one of Maya's favorite movies. Maybe we should replace the poster in the office with this one? That would be kind of sad. <laughs> Why would it be sad? I don't understand. But hey, we made Penny happy, and Penny is a nice character so far. <laughs> I like that there's that ominous bit of maybe there's a bit of, like, magical psychicness going on. But she's otherwise a normal person with a hobby. Hey, child. Ultra premium. See this card? Yeah, so- Wait! That's it! 
fancy last ultra rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Well, I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay, how about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 not that kind of trade. I don't want cards, I want information. Huh, you sure? Fine by me. Ultra rare premium card given to Cody. Okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny to me, that the kid is just like, yeah, I'll take a stand, I'll go to court to get that ultra rare premium card. Well, that's that. Well, first, let's see what funny thing. So, you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool! I... I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions and his life! I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh me? Yeah, I love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. I'll say Will Powers acting. Well, I've never even seen a full episode of that dumb show. Actually, I'm kind of a fan of Will Powers. Whoa, that's totally hardcore! You're calling me hardcore? So what else do you like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. His, his fighting skills. Gotta think of something. I like it when he, uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, Wazam! The Steel Samurai always wins, always! Check this out, it's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one, a perfect collection. Check it out, my new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Contains photos of every victory scene in every battle the Steel Samurai has won. Now that is a super fan. That is a true fan. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life! Well, can I ask what happened? You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I... I saw... I saw everything! Well, well, we might get something useful, some inform ugh, some useful information out of him yet. What you saw. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here the day around 2 o'clock. I had to come in through the woods out back so that the old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe half an hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The Steel Samurai killed the bad guy! He used his samurai spear, just like always! One shot, one kill! It happened so fast, I got scared! I went home after that. I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So, the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Alright, so, who is going to come on in and, uh... Just blast me with the information, like, surprise! I am here, and we want the diddly D. <laughs> well, I knew it. So who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Gumshoe? Is it going to be Gumshoe? Not so fast, pal. Yep. I heard everything. This boy is a key witness, and he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. 
You got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Ah! And he has been kidnapped. That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we gonna do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll do fine. Whoa! Come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I mean, we have the evidence of the sleeping pills, and he seems like such a good guy. Yes, of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. You'll really see me in court? Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. I wonder if that implies that... Bup, 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 that, uh... Maya's power is growing. Because she's able to channel Mia for longer. Well, time for more chaos. October 19th, 9.42 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, oh nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. There's no time for dead people jokes, please! You know we're going into this tri uh, uh, trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. It is not. Well, 10 a.m. Courtroom number four. I like how we keep getting different courtrooms, yet it's always the same judge. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studio. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Or that director. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me! I'm the director! I make the steel samurai noob ruffle! Salmonella, I'm a director, television. Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm, very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Witness testimony the day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else at lunch in the... I heard that everyone else had ate lunch at the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During that meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Are you pretty sure? Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Let's see. He was at studios from around 9 that morning. I don't feel a need to press that. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing to press there. During the morning, he was doing, um, an action scene run-through. Why the hesitation? In the employee area? That's right. 
It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run-through? Oh, yeah. That security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing, lol. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Took a lot of time, more than I thought it would. Let's see if we can get any more information out of that. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure Juve already heard about this, but WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? I think I know where we might be able to pick apart a later testimony, because I don't think we have anything to pick apart here. Who knows, maybe there is something. But when the kid, Cody, finally gets up on the stand, he'll say that the Steel Samurai lunged at the evil magistrate with frightening speed. Mr. Uh, Mr. Will Powers could not have done that because he went too fast. Because Mr. Will Powers broke up, uh, didn't break, but he twisted his ankle so he wouldn't have been able to move that quickly. But that still begs the question of who would have known that the ankle was twisted to fake it for the photo, but then be able to go super fast later. All right, thus the limp. Which of course led me to my missing my lunch, Rops. Rops? Rolling on the floor, stark. <laughs> yeah, that I could see him having it be that. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. Let's pick apart this too. What exactly did they have for lunch? A T-bone steak. The assistant cooked some up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. <laughs> of course, he had to supply that. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can't you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix, yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Not steak, at least. Hmm, it's a little vague. Actually, there is something bothering me. Mr. Manila, just now you said steak, at least. So you ate something other than steak. Yeah, good call. I had some chocolate in my pocket, which I used to stave off starvation. I see. Is that all? I was sure I was onto something there. We were in the meeting until around four. I wonder what the game means by that, by being like, hey... Diddly dee. Because let's see what information we have. The only thing is the sleeping pills. Hmm. So yeah, nothing else could really. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this, the sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manella, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you, do you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting? During the meeting? Well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. You're pretty sure? Or are you completely sure? You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, yeah, not a one. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. I'll wait for one to come up and hit him with it later. Phoenix, if his alibi holds, powers is finished. Press him as hard as you can and find out where he's lying. Right. Hmm. I don't think there's anything to press him on except for the very beginning. Well, let's ask him about this. Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh, no, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Still, FWIW, I was pretty busy all that day. Tell us more about that. Huh, let's see. The only thing I have is the monkey statue head. The statue head, the empty bottle. Hmm. Time of death. 
can't be used. Powers is photo. I doubt we could use that. Hmm. I don't know what the game is wanting me to do. Because I assume it has something to do with the monkey head, probably. Probably not the empty bottle, because that requires something to do with Mr. Powers being asleep. But the monkey head has to be used somewhere. Probably not the samurai spear, not the guide map, not you. And I just know that if I... <laughs> hmm. This is tricky. Tricky, tricky during the meeting. Because again... So, like, nobody went to check when they probably heard the sound of this? Well, let's yeah, go for the Hail Mary. Nope, we lose. Your Honor! This statement contradicts the evidence. No, it doesn't. And then I get hit. It's the only thing that I could have thinked. Hmm. Or was it supposed to be this one? Very lost right now. I am not smart enough to do this. Let me go through his entire statement. Studio from around 9, that's irrelevant overall. During the morning, they were doing an action scene run through. Took a lot more time, because he twisted his ankle. And everyone else ate lunch at the employee area. Had a meeting in Studio 2 trailer, so ended up skipping lunch. Again. I guess because we objected to this one, which, because I thought it would be like, how would you know? But maybe it's this. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Let's try it. Nope. Another failure. I'm just trying to think. None of this works. Unless this is another one where I'm supposed to, like, run out the thing and then more information comes, but... I just, I don't know. Bobbity bobbity bob. Hmm. Budgets and this. Nobody left, and then he says. But, hmm. Yeah, because this is the one where it, like. Yeah, he stutters. Not a one. But what information do I have that we can do with? Wait, no? I'm just trying to think, because none of them... There's no contradiction that I can see here. Yeah, and that's just the industry way. Yeah, an action scene run through in the employee area. Took a lot more time because he twisted his ankle. Heard that everyone ate lunch. He almost starved. And he ended up skipping lunch and had chocolate from his pocket. In the meeting from around four, where they were discussing budgets and script, and during the meeting, Yeah, but I'm just trying to think. There doesn't seem to be anything. Hmm. Hmm, 
Let me double check this, just to be safe. Didn't get to eat. It's contradictory, but we already went through this. Oh, that's what I wanted, I needed to click. Oh. Yeah, because I, I did, did come to mind, yes, there were, like, more, like, foodstuffs there. But, for some reason, my brain was like, ah, this would have been it, but no. Let's see. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Mm -hmm. No, I, um, I, good call. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. Why would you be embarrassed? A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all the trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat, I'd suspect as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. Or, uh, I wolfed it down then. A mental image? Ah, so that's what I needed. I needed him to admit that he took a break so that he'll contradict himself later. Wait a second. If they took a break in the meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. And here I thought we needed to present evidence. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, yeah, not a one. Hmm. If only I had an idea, but we did, because we went back and we asked him the same question again with a different answer. Maybe I do have an idea. Press him harder. Just like we did Granny. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops, Rubble. Well? Um? Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess I, we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the Studio One during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well, Mr. Vanilla, your testimony please. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh -oh, Edgeworth is laughing. But why would he want to, like, not talk about the break that much if Edgeworth is, like, not worried at all? Yeah, fit W-I-W, we took a break, Lawful. But it was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, lol. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. But that does mean that there was still 15 minutes people were gone. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Granted, I think 15 minutes is enough time to commit murder. We took a break, Raffle. Well, why didn't you say so before? What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm, I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of the death. So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. <laughs> Edgeworth has something up his sleeve, I think. But it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. All oh, right, the other one was Divas, sorry, D. Vasquez's plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Not enough time for someone to say, commit a murder. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I claim it, and I claim it loud. So let's see. But if they said 2.30 to 2.45, that would contradict because of the monkey head, which said that it blocked the path from 2.15 to 4. So... The obvious answer would to be to claim it, but I think the answer is to say it's impossible. I don't know. 
because we could take another hit here, which would be bad. Because again... But at the same time, there's a reason why he didn't want to admit that there was a diddly-da break. But the monkey head blocked the path. So I'm gonna... S but that could lead to a non-standard game over. Hmm. But again, isn't there another gate that leads out the back of the studio? So would, that wouldn't even matter, but I don't know. Hmm. Do I claim it loud and claim it proud? I'm trying to think things through, because this one has been a real... Mac on my noggin. Because hmm, it says here that he went at two. So I, I say I have to, hmm. So I want to say no, it's impossible. I'm going to say no, it's impossible. Probably bad. Hmm. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to this time of day. Aha! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again, but I see you had at least an inkling of truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mr.'s monkey head barred the way. Yeah, that's what I figured. But at the same time, wouldn't somebody have come out to be like, Hey, what was that sound? At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in this trailer took a break at 2.30, I don't know, I, it looks like you could get around it. It looks like you can get around it. Those are just trees. You can go through the trees, I think. When the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manila from the stand. What? It's over? Very well, the court's opinion on the case as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All this is lacking in decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to have announced that we indeed have a decisive witness. Well, decisive evidence, a witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai secured the victim. Order! I will have order! My see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. October 19th. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. What do we do now, Mia? Everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. But Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... Uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Here are the children everywhere, after all. I... you... thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. I do think that the sleeping pills and when the kid says he went with a, like a flash of light and skewered the magistrate that we'll be able to say, well, actually, he had a crooked ankle, so he couldn't do it. 
Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a great schooler of two years and this case is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> Get him a box. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Uh, right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Do they just have donut crates in the middle of court? Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness! What? Just because you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around. <clears throat> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, uh, I mean Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You are present, uh, you are at Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just, Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentlemen myself. A very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <clears throat> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bark in terms of the kid? And you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of that in court record. Cody's camera added to the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Witness testimony. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearse just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that the old lady wouldn't catch me. Hmm. Oh, we can't even press that. Oh, cause yeah, yeah, cause we're not in the cross-examination portion yet. My brain instantly went into cross-examine mode. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot. I tell ya. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. But he says that he takes it everywhere, so we'll need to press on that. Hmm, very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we've seen here, honestly. Cross-examination. Understandable, you're a fan. He found a map on the internet, which I guess wouldn't be that crazy. Let's ask about how he went through the woods. Off the path. Yeah, you know how the studios are in a valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow, I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. I don't think it needs to be pressed there. When I came out of the studio, there was a steel samurai. Well, let's ask him about that. The steel samurai. Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked right before my eyes out came the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A, a guy, a person, kind of tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kind of far away. Huh, he's being awfully vague. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! How did this happen? What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. If I had my camera, that would be a time for the shot, I tell you. Let's press on that. If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. 
Let's see, because what it says about the camera. I'm going to assume that this is the right answer because he says that he always carries it with him. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? Yes, yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? I do like that they drew him on the box. So you had, so you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Hmm, very well. Please testify to the court about how you were bu too busy watching. And this is where the uh, little compendium will come in because he's gone to every live show, so him being excited to see the Steel Samurai in person take down a bad guy wouldn't be a new thing. He would take the picture. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules! Hmm. Oh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? No. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. Try and press just to make sure. So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you a person, he was a person! How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Press him harder. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. Oh, what is the meaning of this? The witness has stayed, stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order, Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Show evidence? Do I have evidence? Because he's still learning how to capture the thing. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Because he says that he saw the fight, but could it have been that he only saw the samurai leave? Hmm. 
he's being vague. So either he didn't see what went down... Hmm... Was he watching something else? What is it? Because the option to show evidence leans me towards that, but I'm not sure. Because hmm. could it have been that he was fiddling with his camera? But he's still learning how to use it. But he's also caught all of the other cam- uh, all of the other moments. Hmm. What else would he have been watching? What else would he have been watching? Could it have been that he was watching the... Monkey Head fall, but it fell at 2.15 and he died at 2.30, so that couldn't be it. He couldn't watch it. Because... It happened in Studio One. And he didn't have a key card. Because he couldn't watch it. He could... How could he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? I guess I'm wrong there. Take a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the t Steel Samurai fight like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, huh. I would have agreed with Edgeworth. Mr. Wright, do you have a better explanation? If so, so... But could it have been something else that would have drawn his attention away? Because my thought process was the fight happened in Studio One, behind the Studio One gate, where, yeah, where the body was found. So I figured that. Could it have been that he saw something else? Because I don't see anything here that would have drawn his attention, or like, maybe not drawn his attention, but what other thing here would do it? The only thing here is the, though he's still learning how to use it. I guess, Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away? Because he was still learning how to use his camera? Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that, too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at this crucial moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey, Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Crossing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could have just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right, Cody. There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right, Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. Very well. Cody, would you please tell us about your camera and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. No photo. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Don't need to press on that, I think. Had just escaped. So, did you see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? So I held up my camera to take a picture. Understandable. But the lens wouldn't open, so I missed it. That's all that happened. What do you mean, that's all that... That's all? Yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture. I would have one... I would have once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Press him hard. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something I can use. Cody! Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How did you know? 
I see through all your lies, Cody Hackens. It's one of my powers. Wow, this feels great. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I thought I would have to bring out the album to say, but he takes the picture every time there's a finishing blow at the live show, so why wouldn't he hear? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Why would you erase them? You erased them? Yeah! Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep that picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. How can I poke holes in sh uh, such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up dirt, Phoenix. Find out that what this kid's lie is all about. Yeah, you're right. The Steel Samurai had just escaped the clutches, so I held up a picture and take a yeah, just held up to take a picture if the lens wouldn't open. Oh. I thought it would have been. So I missed it. I'm going to present this! Cody! What? Man, every time you say Cody, you fall with something bad! I just wanted to thank you for giving me this, for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final bro. Bro? <laughs> the final bro. <laughs> uh, lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. He claims it's the perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order, Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. <laughs> a multi-hit seizure? No, wait, no way! Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. Did we? I haven't hit an epiphany yet. And what a truth it is. M Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. The truth is that he has a picture of the killer? Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? The Steel Samurai didn't win. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those pictures. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way! No! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He stalled the he stall? He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth! <laughs> he couldn't handle the truth in a courtroom. Order! I will have order! Witness! I mean Cody! Is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw! I... <laughs> Poor kid. It's playing the cornered music as he cries. Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay! You're right! The Steel Samurai fell down! Then he didn't move! <laughs> but if... How did that happen? They found... 
our... He, they found Jack Hammer in the Magistrate costume, though. Order! Order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim! Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. This is peak drama! Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error. What's this all about? Obviously, yeah, Hammer was the victim. Could it have been... Could it have been that... Hmm. I'm starting to piece something together. Could it have been that... Jack Hammer took the Steel Samurai costume and wore it as he went to Studio One. For some reason, mimicking the limp that he saw Powers get. And in his attempt to kill somebody who the witness, Cody, couldn't see clearly, the, he died and they probably swapped the costumes, and that's why there wasn't any blood. Because they put him into a new costume and did away... They burned the Steel Samurai costume in the incinerator at place... at, at Studio 2! In Studio 2, they burned the Steel Samurai costume in that incinerator. That's why it was so used. The Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jackhammer was the Steel Samurai! Order! 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 So the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jackhammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But, but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought, but there wasn't a photo! But remember what Mrs. Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jackhammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange, so it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved! Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera! What? Show us, quick! No way, man, not if you're gonna look at me like that! No! Uh, here, this is it. What's at Studio 2? Well, looking at this, it's a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? What? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. The Steel Samurai, a.k.a. Jackhammer, went to Studio 2. What? Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. I know what it is. Your Honor, look at this! I see a gate? Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. B but that's impossible! Hmm, eh? What's this all about? Please explain that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. 
The body was found here in Studio One. However, what we... What do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on the gate in the photo, Your Honor. Here is the true scene of the crime. Studio Two. Here, at Studio Two. I see. How to explain the two on the gate in the photo? Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio Two. The trailer is there. As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio Two. Now on the day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Mrs. D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime! The path to the trailer was blocked! So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to the Studio 2 before that time! Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet in the actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones to access the scene of the crime. Studio Two! Order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio Two. The person in the security guard uh, that the security guard, Mrs. Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume, then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim! The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole a costume. I have proof. I have proof! You do? You do, Mr. Wright. Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Sleeping pills! This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Fingerprint the bottle. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Hmm? I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. Oh, so thrilling. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Mrs. Oldback may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? My theory is something happened with Mr. Hammer in the past that tanked his reputation at the studio to a degree, that he was relegated to playing low-tier villain uh, roles at the studio as opposed to leading hero roles as he had done in previous high-rate like high -rate movies or series like Singing Samurai and such. So I assume he had something to do with something back in the day that got him bumped down and he stole the Steel Samurai costume as like a gambit to either get revenge or to be like, I can play the hero, make me the hero or I will reveal what happened all that time ago or something, I don't know. Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Powers. 
As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Because we live in a mad world where trials only go for three days. At most. Court is adjourned. Whew. That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. <laughs> Me too. Really? You both seem so, so confident. Ah, maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D dead <laughs> Of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks. This poor guy, we have, like, talked to him hardly any. He is the main core of the trial. And he's just such a poor man. He's done nothing to deserve this. He slept in a trailer. But I personally would say that since we can reasonably suspect that Jackhammer, because again, a photo wasn't taken of Jackhammer going to Studio One. Only the photo of the Steel Samurai. Which means that only the person in the Steel Samurai costume went by the gate at that time. Or at all that day. So it's just like blah, 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 blah. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad, I'm sorry I missed it. M Maya! So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick! Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So under that system, trials have to sp end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. Do, 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 do. Let's talk to our boy one more time. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes. Well, there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. What do you know about producer Vasquez? Could you tell me more about Mrs. Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say that she's a genius. A genius? She's been at the Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? Nothing. Forget it. I've only heard rumors anyhow. Director Manella, can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? He was really looking forward... I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came onto Global. Five years ago? So yeah, something happened five years ago. The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick, I think her guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. You eat, you die. <laughs> uh, I kind of like old bag. She's amusing. Phew! She's alive! 
you tell me about producer Vasquez? Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. What about Manella? Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal? He's soft, a pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. What about Mr. Hammer? About Mr. Hammer... Ah! I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper! Poor old Hammer! You drag your star down from the sky and stomp on it! Calling him a criminal, a thief! I, 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 I won't forget this! Uh-oh, she's really pissed this time! You listen to me, Whippersnapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Powers' costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible! Is there anything that we'd care to present to you? I don't think so. Sorry to get your blood pressure up, lady. Let's go to the employee area. Is Penny here? I guess they're not filming today either. I didn't want to see them filming just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. You know, hopefully with <laughs> with the powers here. I guess. This is where we found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying, lying around. Yeah! No, 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 no touching! Eee! Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you didn't mean I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. I suppose it's the act is me. Dramatic indeed. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. The plate. So, you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct but I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there's traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on the plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Steak plate. Found in the employee area, on it are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. The investigation. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. What about Persecutor Edgeworth? How is Edgeworth doing anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed the paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Oh, talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups, cups, bottles. Say, whatever happened to that with the empty bottle? Oh, the empty, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim jackhammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, it sounds like one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right! Sleeping Pell Bottle added to the court record! Thanks, my man! Thanks, <laughs> Gumshoe, you're a real pal. Oh, hello. What are you doing in here? Oh, um, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP's innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done, but this week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! <laughs> They're canceling it. I wonder why. Well, let's ask about Hammer. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must have been true then. The rumor? Yeah, Miss Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. 
Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? Well, let's ask about the last episode. What do you mean, The Last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no. Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kid shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Studio policy. Why aren't they going to make kid shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? And I I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think that a high-profile murder would stop a number one ratings hit kid show. The, 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 the big wigs would be like... like They would basically be the, the crab guy from Monsters, Inc. I don't care how many people have to die. I will s <laughs> to save this company. So yeah, uh, this is highly unrealistic. Producers would do anything to keep their money-making darling at the top, even if it means keeping the drudge of murder around. It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll just be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. This path to glory. And this is... A fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show couldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what is it that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago someone died. And it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt that she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were... Yeah, excuse me. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out, so they decided to tank it themselves. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldback. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Thanks, Penny. You're a real pal. I, I already left there. I'm a fool. That must have looked weird to Penny. She's just like, why did you leave and just come back in and leave again? What are you still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't sound look so good. Everybody's doing that, Don, just to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Five years ago. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols! Nichols? Nichols. Nick. <laughs> Penny. Penny Nichols. Oh. Oh, the pun names. That system we talked to. Oh, oh, you're right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jackhammer. He killed a man, didn't he? With her snappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that. And the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun! No, oh, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. I have proof. I'm sorry, Mrs. Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. 
What does that prove? Oh, I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof that he used the pills on Powers? Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, yeah, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. And then she calmed down. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldback? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldback? You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal one. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant to harm anyone. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. A photograph? Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor, and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. Well, that's going to be very handy. I wonder how we... I wonder if we can show that to anybody. Let's quickly go to the detention center and see if we can show it to you. Would you like to see a dead man? <laughs> You'd think that they would have programmed in, like, something there. Like, something. But yep. Let's quickly go back to the employee area. Detective Gumshoe must have left by now. He's probably thinking about what to do with tomorrow's trial. I bet Edgeworth is pretty angry with him. And there doesn't seem to be anything new. Just paint. Let's see if Penny is still in the dressing room. Probably not. The assistant must have gone off somewhere. That stuff about Mr. Hammer must have come as a shock to her. Yep, and nothing else here, so we shall head out to... Well, we probably can't go to Studio One because we gave away our card to Miss Oldbag. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio Two? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. I still personally think he went there of his own volition. Studio Two entrance. Hey, Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello? Hello! H-E-L-L-O! Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. She is a very strange individual who scares me. Again, according to Miss Oldbag, this lady has ties to the Mafia. Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. Well, let's ask about Will Powers. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You... You did it! Nick, she did it! She's the killer! My fey blood speaks to me! She, I know it, I know it! Oh, dear. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella? If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves? Oh, oh, dear. Let's quickly check the trailer, just to make sure. Wasn't the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. And, yep, nothing else. So, 
Time to do the dumb thing and say hi. Surprise. She's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I, well, old bag. Old? She means the security lady, Miss Old Bag, Nick. Right. Anyway, Miss Vasquez, you hit this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The, huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. I think this is where bad things are going to happen. I don't trust her. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Well, we're looking at it. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Not even going to comment that that's where the murder took... Well, not murder, but... Well, let's probably enter into a bad situation where the mafia lady is going to hold us at gunpoint or something. Hmm, you came. Well then, what was it that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for petty change. Hmm, so I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident, but you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh, I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But, but you were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? No, no way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? <laughs> Just think, would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe me. But that security lady said it was an accident. Oh well, she was a big fan of Hammer's, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence! Boys! Um... Who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What?! The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why would, should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think of that while you're here. So long, friends. Boys, a race away. No! This is bad. Gumshoe! I was just about to say, Gumshoe, come save me! Hold it right there! I heard everything, pal! D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the Princing with me now! Huh. <laughs> Not that. Very well. It appears this contest will decide tomorrow, then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. Shouldn't that, like, immediately throw her in jail because she was threatening me? Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry it was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. I like Gumshoe. He's a good guy. 
Gumshoe's a good man. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. Who's at the bottom? G. Vasquez. That's gotta be, like, the closest that, like, Phoenix has gotten to being murdered. Yet. And here I thought I was gonna, I was right to be afraid of, uh, Mr. Red White. No, oh, it's the Mafia Lady. October 20, 10 a.m. Ah, oh, we're just gonna jump right into the court. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. And the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. That's ominous. Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> I wonder if it's worth being on the edge. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is the producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. And she threatened my life. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez. I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you are in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <coughs> Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay! Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, uh, so to speak. Because I think she's wearing a skirt dress. I entered the trailer home a little before noon. The meeting began at 12, as sharp, and ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. And a gate, it looks like. Oh! It's perspective. Because this entire time, I thought the perspective was us walking in. And, like, basically, you see the gate in there? It's, I thought that it was, oh, you went through the gate, and this is what you saw. No. The gate back there, that is the studio gate that you walk through to get in here. It's just that the perspective was done this way, and it confused me. Ah. So, yeah, there is no second way out, so all of my... But there's a, but there's a gate back there. It was all wrong. I thought it might be risky to walk with that monkey's head toppling over. Van added to the court record. Oh, great. We're going to have to use that, I presume. I I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. The day of the murder. I enter the trailer home a little before noon. I don't see any need to press there. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. <laughs> the witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. Well, let's press on this, just because. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. 
Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at four, and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Let me quickly check our evidence. Because again, he couldn't have been there because... Ah, uh, but we don't have that photo in the record anymore. Of him standing there. Um, I'm sure we'll have ample opportunity for the truck to come in sometime. Let's see. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Hold on! You had Sal take you? What does that mean? We already established it. It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the studio to Van. Oh, alright. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. It was a 15-minute break. <laughs> I like that he immediately noticed that he hit his desk. In front. On the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed the murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said. So, yeah, the only thing that we have is that she didn't eat the steak. How would we know? had proof that she didn't eat the steak. What does that mean, game? What does that mean? Hmm. Let's see. Let's go about this one by one. Enter the trailer a little before noon. Nothing there. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Doesn't seem like there's anything to poke there. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. If only we still had that photo from the previous trial. Why do we not have the photo showing the uh, samurai at Studio 2? Because I figured that that would be... Hmm. It. If only I had proof that she didn't eat the steak. What does that mean, right? What does that mean? No, seriously, what does that mean, right? Yeesh. I am I am probably very dumb right now. Okay, let's go over the information. Entered a little before noon, and she went there by herself. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Nobody left during the meeting, so she says. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio 1. And I think this is where, she, where we asked... Uh, when the meeting ended, she said she didn't know, and then he supplied that the rehearsal was at 5, so between 4 and 5. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me in the car. In the van. Hmm. Is there any reason why this is evidence that we want to present? At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting... I don't think there's anything that we can present that, like, yeah, that's that's a non-thing. 
It's only this. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on that table in front of the trailer. What does that mean? Why did... Why did the man-man go like, hmm, ba 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 I honestly don't know. I'm just trying to think... Because we have to have all the pieces that we could have. The steak plate doesn't matter because that's for the employee area. Right? Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Well, let's do this again. Hear what we have to say again. Do you have someone who can verify, Sal, anyone else? One person is enough. If she committed the murder during that break, she wouldn't have time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved that she didn't eat that steak... If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak... Hmm. There's nothing there. Oh, you didn't have the time. Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. So we didn't learn anything there. It was just a 15-minute break. So these are the only two things that I could think of. But I don't know what to put. I don't know. Because... Thirty, which is right. That is Jackhammer in the suit going to Diddly D. Could it be this? Because if he died, and it is. Maybe? Nope. Music continued. I'm just trying to think. Think through things logically. But nothing's really sticking in my head. Because I figured that would be it because it's like if he died at 2.30 and was at the place. Like, and again... He died at 2.30, but this blocked the thing. But that requires the context of, again, the samurai was there. What, do I show the camera? Because of the picture? Again, because that's the thing I want to show, the picture. So, maybe? Nope. But it should, I want the picture! That shows the Steel Samurai at Studio 2 on that day. Why is that not evidence? I'm just trying to think, but I can't... I don't know what evidence correlates to any of these. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break. So, or could it be this? Could it be this? But I... I don't know. I just... I don't know... What the game wants me to show. So let's see... Sal and I ate T-bone steaks at the table in front of the trailer. The van has nothing to do with that. This steak plate has nothing to do with this. The bottle has nothing to do with this. The photo? I don't think it has anything to do with this. Like, at most, it'd be like, why would you want to eat there? In front of the place where this happened. But that... I don't know. I don't think the game would take that. And again, I would like to use the photo that we introduced last trial in which we showed that the Steel Samurai was there at 2 whenever, which would have been after the monkey's head fell. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba. And again, the weird thing that Phoenix is locking onto is if I can prove that she didn't eat the play, like the ste- the ste- the 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 ba 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 the T-bone steak. I don't know what the game wants me to present as evidence here. 
I do not know. Maybe the van, so we could say no. Maybe the van? I don't know what the game wants me to do. I cannot, for the life of me, see the contradiction with the evidence. Because again, the evidence that I would want to present is that photo that we don't have for some reason. You'd think that that would be an important evidence piece. Would it be this one? But no, it had nothing to do, because the only reason that I wanted to show the autopsy report is that, oh, he died at 2.30. And they said, oh, the break happened at 2.30. Is it the monkey head? No. Because it has nothing to do with this statement. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Ba 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 ba. It can't be you, because you're irrelevant to this. You are a T-bone steak. But it has nothing to do with the T-bone steak that was eaten at the trailer. Is it the five-year-old photo? I don't think so. Because, again, that has nothing to do there except with the why would you eat there in front of where this accident happened. But I don't know. I, I genuinely do not know what the game wants me to present. Who knows, maybe I'm being dumb. Because that's all that we have. Maybe if I can prove that she didn't... Because hmm. again, into the trailer a little before noon, doesn't matter. Started at 12, ended at 4. There was a pre-rehearsal afterwards, so the meeting ended between 4 and 5. I was fatigued, so had Sal take me in the car. Is this what they want me to do? The, the click... I don't know. There's nothing with the car. Unless I missed important context with the car that I was supposed to check. Mm -hmm. So I think that the only things is, at 2.30 we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on, on the table in front of the trailer. I genuinely don't know what the game wants me to present. Again, this is where I would present the photo from last time that showed that the Silver Samurai was there at Studio 2. And that he died. I don't know what the game wants me to present. It just feels weird. Like, I feel that there would be something. Something pointing to something more. No, oh, yeah, that's just the 15-minute break. Don't hit your desk. This is the thing that makes me think that there's a little something weird with this statement. It's because... It's that. It was a 15-minute break. Could it be this and say, like, but it would be very impressive for someone to eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes? Is that what you want, game? I don't know what the game wants. I'm trying to think of a million one things that are, like, tied to any of this. Or maybe it wanted me to do it on that one. And not the 2.30. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just trying to think things through. T-bone steak. Okay. I find that a little weird because it's a T-bone steak from the employee area, but I guess it makes sense, again, if we tie back into the previous trial with Salmonella, in which they said, but I think it's very impressive that anybody could eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, so I guess maybe I should have made that connection earlier? But, it, but, but, but. and I guess, I, yeah, I probably should have made that connection sooner, but there's just something about it. That I felt that there was like any... Again, I think it's because my brain got hooked on the... But the Silver Samurai was there. We have a photo that the Silver Samurai was at Studio 2 before the murder. So, I don't know. Something, something. I thought it would be more linked to that. How could the Silver Samurai be there before the murder? Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. 
This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manila ate at the table outside the trailer. There were no bones. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. That's the first time I think she'd really changed expressions. Mrs. Vasquez? Oh yeah, and that's another thing. Sal Manella said that he didn't get to eat T-Bone steak, right? Or did he amend that later? I think he actually he may have amended that later and said that he had them there, but I don't know. Blech. My brain is mush right now. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-Bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. I... I see. Then what was Mrs. Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Meeting the... St <laughs> picking on Salmonella! Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! Are you sane? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands! Let me guess, shoved him onto the spike? Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. My wits feel very limp right now. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy weapon spear as a weapon? You couldn't, could you? I think you could. Uh, would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha, huh, you see? Yes, however, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning, the samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the... Because it's broken! I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. B but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning's action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what your Silence! I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <coughs> are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what the weapon used to kill Mr. Hammer was? I can tell you. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. Ta-da! Look at this photo. But what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on top of the stairs! Order! Order! If I cannot have order in this trial, we'll be suspended! Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret to the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, 
you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced through him, through him, uh, pierced him through the chest? What? What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago happened again. Has happened again. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jackhammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago! Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of your argument that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. I have been claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of 15 minutes. How could I have disposed of the body? You gave me the evidence I needed. The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have done it? She had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance... Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry the body. I interesting. Let's hear it, then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Car. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the studio van to do it. Ah, peak drama. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Hold on, Wright. Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Hmm. I'm gonna say he wasn't. Of course he wasn't. Ha! So without Mr. Manella noticing anything, she put the body in the van, then managed to put the body into the costume? Are you seriously suggesting that is possible? Of course I'm not serious. Ha <laughs> ha! I was kidding to her. Lighten up the proceedings. Light. Lighten? You can't lighten up a murder. Mr. Wright, the court requests you refrain from making claims of chest. I thought it. I probably should have taken the thing like, ah, yes, he, he does do the... She says, jump, he says how high thing, but bleh. Of course Salmonella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Then again, she does have minions that she called in on a moment's notice. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I... win? <laughs> and everyone just standing there. Really? You admit it? <laughs> Even the court? Um, so, what happens next? Don't at me! Don't you have anything to say? What would I... what would you like me to say? Uh, I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez! So it was you? You killed Jackhammer! <laughs> the silence, even from the court. 
Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits, and the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, mm, of course it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. What do I do now? Testify again. Mm -hmm. Because, again, we know that the Silver Samurai was there. And again, we couldn't find the costumes, so it had to be burned. But what would I even present? Because, again, since he... Well, if he died there, then they had to have moved him later. Testify again? I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. To come so far only to fail? As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness. Really? Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question. I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. Very well. <laughs> then he objects again. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to go gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see a little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Hmm. Well, yes, um... Indeed, verily, I say, ergo! I want to hear about what happened after they found the body! After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. Nick, why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? I mean, we did crush that like two times in a row now. Wait. One time in a row, right? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, it was only one time in a row because technically... Th the last case was complicated. <laughs> it felt like a long time. After all that... And he did lose that one, so maybe he's lightening up. Edgeworth? After finding the body... I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Oldbag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes, then I went home. Hmm, I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. And when was that? What time was that? We were to meet at 5 for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies in the costumes, mind you. Hmm. Press harder. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh, what did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You, shouldn't tr you should try to listen to when people are talking, boy. But boy, the witness will continue her testimony. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. You have a reason for that. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember? What? 
There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm? You certainly seemed calm enough when I was accused you of murder. Uh... Press harder. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around. You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps, but no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers didn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. Hmm. Well, I suppose that explains it. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing? It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Then, silence, dead silence. <laughs> dead silence, get it? Is this the gag for this one? Silence. Hey, hey, Nick, why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. I don't think so. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Power, saying he did it. Well, we might as well press as we are. Old Bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right, still samurai. Press harder. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's words? Perhaps not. She seemed to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm, I don't think there's anything in there I can use. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out? Yes, it seems that everyone else was questioned, and I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot riding on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questions. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. The script in your direction notes... Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that, but you were going there? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm, very well. Miss Vasquez, please continue. <laughs> Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Yeah, because I just picked it up. You were going there to rehearse before you knew there was a murder. By saying that, that implies that you knew that there was a murder before you went to the rehearsal. Think. Miss Vasquez says she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to have known about the murder before going to Studio One. Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth! What have you just said? Is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution makes such a move. Or are you sure? Are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots of the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Mm hmm? Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect the reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. How did you know about the injury? Uh, how did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. You have to find something to peg this on her. For everything we've done till now, we've been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get her. Hmm. On the body, the system was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. I've been the security, and if he did it, I asked to be left out. I went back to him. I knew that Hammer would be because he 
couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Seemed a little put off at the beginning, but then said Sal told her. Hmm. We already went through that, and then she said here was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Hmm. There has to be something then. Could it be the photo? Objection! Yeah, has to be the photo. You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers! What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Yes, Mr. Hammers is dragging his leg in the photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. She did say Mr. Hammer! I'm a dumb! I am a dumb man! She did say Mr. Hammer! Ah. Now why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right! He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manello was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez? You heard Manello wrong. He said the Silver Samurai got injured. You must have heard Mr. Manello wrong. Even though he said Mr. Powers was injured, you thought he was talking about Mr. Hammer. Now that you mention it. Yes, I believe you're right. I'm sure that's what happened. Yeah! Nick, you're supposed to be putting her on the spot and helping her out! Alright, I kind of talked myself out of that one, didn't I? Quick, start over! Miss Vasquez? Oh. Blah, yeah, you saw him limping because of the photo. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes! Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ha <laughs> ha! And when he was and when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. And went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly! Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping! And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit! That's why you were confused! That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning! Order! Order! I will have order! Witness? Can you refute this claim? Hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez! Very well! I have a question for you. Uh, why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star! I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing! Hmm, yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Of course I can prove it! Okay, I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. Probably the event five years ago. Because, in my opinion, it has to be that Mr. Hammer put on the costume to get out of what happened. This is my proof. This. Is the photo from before? This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Um, five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial 
It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident perpetu perci uh, precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed, on, weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. <laughs> bringing us to the present day in Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a cons constant source of shame for the Egg Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive, because it was a spur-of-the-moment thing. It was Hammer who came to her. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? It is. This is what I figured from the start. The moment that he was like, ah, Mr. Hammer stole the costume and went to Studio 2, he was confronting Vasquez. Your Honor, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. She snapped her pipe. It has to be over. Unless she has a second one in there. So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. That's gotta be the calmest breakdown. Someone call an ambulance! There's blood everywhere! We're too late! Uh, Miss Vasquez! What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs! Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm! No! No, how could this- It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and- No! Manuel! Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez! No! Please. Please don't die. Please. So there was a bit of extra motive there, in a way. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor, as calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. Even though there were, like, two, like, points that were very difficult for me to ascertain because of my brain interpreting things incorrectly. And again, you'd think they'd be like, hey, the Steel Samurai went there at that time. You'd think that uh, uh, things would uh, be happening, my boy. You'd think that uh, since we had the photo, we wouldn't it in the court record. That is all. This court is adjourned. October 20th, 112, District Court Defendant Lobby 2. Uh, 3. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for murder. It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Why would he want to blame him?
Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... It's because you are the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show, and as the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. Oh, uh, yeah, he hasn't gotten the notice. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Is something wrong? No, of course not. Ah! Nick! Edgeworth! He's always so angry looking. Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. <laughs> huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. I find it hilarious that... Right had the right idea immediately for the steak, but I was the one that was just like, but wait, I know the thing, I forget the specific thing. It was that, yeah, I knew the motive all along, that there was no motive. And <laughs> Edgeworth had to jump in to save the day. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> uh, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar! <laughs> right. I must say I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Ah, oh, classic image. Unnecessary feelings? Yes. Unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Uh, well, it's kind of my job to defend people, and if you're the prosecutor, I have no choice. Um, Mr. Wright, was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if they're rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why did I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Edgeworth is my father. No. If I remember correctly, it's because they were in the same class thingy that was uh, with Larry Butts. And I think it was the same kind of thing. Edgeworth was like, I'm going to be the fake school. Well, not fake. I think it was Larry Butts was accused of something in school. And Edgeworth was the school prosecutor, like, as a kid, as a kind of a, a school trial. And uh, Phoenix Wright did the defense attorney thing in the school trial of that the kind of kids did. I don't know why. I have never heard of school classroom trials before, but... This is a wacky world in which three-day trials are held because they want to just speed run the conviction process. And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kid shows again. <laughs> yep. And the thing that <laughs> Maya inspired in Salmonella rose to the surface. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're gonna watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant! Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the head lead again? He's in the pink princess suit! <laughs> I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real willpowers. If Will Powers is in the pink princess suit, that would be friggin' hilarious. <laughs> and now we're on episode four, Turnabout Goodbyes. A brand new episode has been added. And if I'm correct, episode four was where the original game ended. And they added an episode five 
as like a bonus thing to take advantage of the DS once they re-released it for the DS. I wonder how they're going to do that, because I'm fairly certain that the fifth uh, case had, like, microphone integ- excuse me, microphone and uh, touch integration, where you actually, like, rubbed on evidence and turned evidence around. That'll be interesting to see in this, I guess. See how they handle it. And once again, utterly love Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney is wonderful. Once again, I did run into a few moments where I'm just like, okay, where, what the hell does the game want from me? Because I was hooked on, because I my brain got hooked on the wrong things. Where, with the steak, my brain was like, but this steak is from the employee area. And I didn't really, and I forgot that the uh, plates in the other place didn't have bones on them. I latched on to the thing like, hey, it would take uh, quite a bit of speed to finish off a T-bone steak in 15 minutes like everyone said before. But that was only after my brain thought, I guess the game wants me to present a T-bone steak plate as a, hey, remember what Salmonella said about T-bone steak? Blah, 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 blah. But then where did the Silver Samurai costume go, actually? Oh, wait, no, they, 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 they did say, they said it was burnt in the incinerator. Just as I predicted. But it just went by so quickly that my brain just went, meh. Let's see. And what was the other thing that I got uh, tripped up on? It was the T-bone steak and something else. Something else tripped me up a lot. Maybe not as much, but something else did trip me up. I think it was just, I think my brain just lumped all of it together. Because, again, I just wanted to point out that we have definitive proof that the Steel Samurai went to the second studio. Studio 2. The Steel Samurai went there. And if it was at the time of the kill, like, you'd think that we would be able to use that. But I guess it would be too easy. They forgot to register it into the court records, so... We had to do what we could. Oh yeah, and then the second one was prove like the the second testimony after they found the dead body, and I was a little tripped up there. And then I basically fluked my way through the second part of how, because I completely missed that she said Hammer was the one that was hurt. But wait a minute, doesn't that mean that Salmonella is still... Actually, what will happen to D. Vasquez? Because technically it was self-defense, but they covered it up. And Salmonella was complicit in the covering up, right? That's what we decided on. So why did they let him write another series at Global Studios? Who knows, the world is wacky. But I'm still really enjoying this game. I love doing the voices. I love actually trying to figure things out. Even if I'm dumb sometimes, I still enjoy like trying to figure it out. And when I do figure things out, oh, it feels good. And I do feel good like actually having foresight of like, ah, yes, this is what happened. And this is how things went down. Like the moment that it was confirmed that uh, Jack Hammer stole the costume and went to Studio 2, I was like, immediately... Vasquez was using him and he went there to at least confront her. Because it would have been interesting if like... Because another way it could have been was... He was confronting her in the steel... It would have been more interesting... I don't know. A part of me was like, it would be interesting if he confronted her and be like, I want to be a star again. If you dare say no, then I shall go and reveal what happened five years ago, that you covered it up. Also, she seemed really impassioned about what happened to Manuel. I feel like there's an extra story in there. But it is kind of a minor downer that Jack Hammer was so envious of Will Powers that he was willing to frame him. I wonder how old Bag will take that. But I do like the characters and everything in this. 
The music also, great. Just love this game. But uh, with that out of the way, I do believe that that shall be it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. The Edited Content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings. And then the Gaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. Where all of the recordings of these streams end up. And even if you want, you can even catch me playing games live on Neon Icy Games as well. As twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Elsewise, there are various other like the social medias that I hang out on that you can find through my link tree, which should be in the description of any major place like my YouTube channels and Twitch channel. It should be something like linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. I don't know, it's weird. But it should have a list of all the various sites I run about on, like DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Twitter, and uh, Tumblr, where I usually just put out my art that I draw. I'm trying to get better. I think I'm progressing. It does play havoc with my brain. But, yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.